In the Gospel today, the scribes and the Pharisees demand for a sign from Jesus Christ. Why demand for a sign? Jesus Christ has already performed many miracles and they did not believe. They didn't believe. They forgot that Jesus was a sign in their midst. Even if Jesus worked many wonders, they would not believe because their hearts were very far from Christ. And that is what is happening in our life today. Look at the gift of life. Every day we wake up and then you find someone saying, I don't believe unless I see a miracle. The scribes and the Pharisees demand for a sign, but this sign, Jesus was to present his credentials to them. However, Jesus Christ does not need the approval of scribes and Pharisees to minister to the people because he is the Lord. The Lordship of, of God is not limited to only human beings. He is the Lord of everything. The prophet Mika in the first reading reminds the Israelites of the Lordship of God. Out of love for them, God has re rebellated the Israelites from slavery in Egypt and enabled them to pass through the Red Sea. Micah is reminding the people of Israel and is also reminding us God has saved us from eternal death. God has done wonders in our lives but sometimes we doubt. He is the Lord over the sea, over the fish. He commanded the fish to swallow Jonah and cast him out on the shores of Nineveh. It is this Jonah that Jesus Christ refers to in the gospel today. He is the Lord over our unbelief. Look what Apostle Thomas, Jesus told him, Thomas, doubt not, but believe. Thomas responded, my Lord and my God. In moments of trial, when like the Israelites were facing the sea and the enemy is coming after us, what should we do? Let us remember that God makes a way for us where there is no way. Is there. And if you take a minute and think, you might find that Jesus has done wonders in your life. And Jesus is a sign for us today.